Hello and welcome to this video by TechLatest.net. This, this video will provide you a step-by-step -step guide to provision the Kali Linux with GUI virtual machine solution provided by TechLatest.net on Google Cloud Platform GCP. And once your solution is deployed, we'll see how to connect to Kali graphical user interface using the VLC client. So let's dive in. Open TechLatest Kali Linux listing on GCP Marketplace. To do so, go to techlatest.net website, navigate to products and support page, search for Kali GUI Linux, click on Kali GUI Linux from the search result. You can read the overview of this listing here. On this page, click launch now on GCP button. It will take you to the products listing page on GCP marketplace. Scroll down and read more about this offering, like default machine type, disk size, pricing, etc. Once you are ready, click on Get Started. It will ask you to log in. If you are not already logged in, I am as I am already logged in, it's taking me to the agreement page. On this page, if you want to change the project, you can do it from the project selector on top navigator bar here. Accept the terms and agreements by ticking the checkbox and clicking on the agree button. It will show you the successfully agreed pop-up page. Click on deploy. It will take you to the configuration page. Give a name to your virtual machine. Select a zone where you want to launch the VM such as US East 1. Optionally change the number of cores and amount of memory. This defaults to 1 virtual CPUs and 3.75 GB. RAM. Optionally change the boot disk type and size. This defaults to standard persistent disk and 60 GB respectively. Optionally change the network and sub networks. Be sure that whichever network you specify has port 22 for SSH and 5900 for RDP for VNC connectivity exposed. Provide the IP address or IP range. I am providing 0.0.0.0 .0, .0, .0, 0 slash 0 here to provide the all possible IP addresses. Click deploy when you are done. Kali Linux VM will begin deploying. A summary page displays when the compute engine is successfully deployed. Click on the instance link to go to the instance details page. Here you can find all the details about your instance. On the instance page, click on the SSH button this will open SSH window in a browser. Run sudo su ubuntu cd2 slash home slash ubuntu directory. Kali Linux is available as a container image on this Ubuntu host. We can check the status of Kali Linux container using sudo docker ps hyphen a command. Here you can see the container is up and running. Container name is Kali Linux. To connect to Kali command line, run this command here, sudo docker execute hyphen it Kali Linux which is the name of the Kali container slash bin slash bash. This way you can connect to the Kali terminal. If you want to connect to the graphical user interface of Kali Linux, then from your local windows machine, go to start menu, in the search box type and select VNC. If you don't have VNC installed on your local system, first install VNC Weaver as per your device. In the VNC Weaver wizard, copy the external IP from the instance details page and paste it here. Click connect, accept the encryption warning. Now you are connected to out of the box Kali Linux desktop environment via Windows machine with root user. The VM comes with various Kali Linux tools pre-installed out of the box. You can browse them here. We will see them in detail in our upcoming videos. After your first login, open terminal and run this command to change the root user password x11vnc space hyphen store password. Provide the password, enter yes. Once the password is set, reboot the VM. Now my VM is restarted. Let's re-login with root user and new password. 
Suppose for any reason you are unable to connect to Kali Linux via terminal or via v or VNC client. In that case, go to SSH terminal and check, check the status of the container. Run sudo docker ps hyphen a command. If the container is not running or for some reason got exited, in that case restart the Kali container and VNC connection. Run sudo docker start Kali Linux to start the container. and sudo docker execute kali linux slash entry point dot sh ampersand command to allow the connection via vnc client. Now you can access the kali linux. That's it for today's video. This is how you can provision the tech latest kali linux with GUI graphical user interface virtual machine solution available on google cloud marketplace. Thank you for watching.